Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Looky what I found. We have quite a bit of new snow on the Mount Bachelor and the Sandy Ann Pass cameras. Just mostly wet roads at Government Camp and Willamette Pass and that may change for us. We have a system that's coming in, actually two that pass through over the next couple of days that are targeting our Cascades. We could see a few showers come off, but for the most part, the Cascades is where it's going to be focused. I will show you that on the future track. Here's a look off Lake Billy Chinook camera. Obviously just a few clouds. We've had some light showers through the region throughout the day. Not seeing too many clouds right now out of Primeville, just a few. Not expecting anything major to fall anymore within the region. We haven't had much of a major rainfall today, really. It's mostly gone to the Cascades and rained out or snowed out and then passed by to us with more dry air. You can see a few showers are coming up and going through the Madras and the Warm Springs area and some have been on the east slopes, but it's really coming up, hitting the Cascades, kind of stopping at that point. You see none of this moving up, hitting there, coming through and we're getting the other side air, the dry air, still cold, but dry, not so much happening for us. Here's a look at those temperatures that we were talking about cooling down today. That's exactly what happened. We're seeing our temperatures in those mid upper 40s, which is close to 10 degrees below average for this time of year, and we're not done cooling down just yet. Here's a look at the current winds. We knew we were going to be and we talked about being calmer after that day where we had those 25 to 30 mile per hour winds. Yesterday, we saw a few places that got gusts up to 40. Here's what's happening for us the next day. Remember how I just mentioned we're going to get cooler as we go into Saturday. This cooler air drops down and that's not it. Look at what happens into Sunday. That trough drops way down, actually gives some of that to Northern California and we are Arctic air all the way across the Pacific Northwest. Normally, I do not show you these, but I wanted to give you a look at here's one system. Then we have another one coming in Then we have a trough coming in. Then behind that, there's another trough. And then guess what you're going to see coming in right here? Another low pressure center that comes right on up, gives us some snow backed by another one right behind it. So you can see why we're getting these multiple back to back systems that are dropping this precipitation on us. What this looks like on our normal future track, you can see that rain there. So if you watch, you see a shower or two, but not much. There's one watch. We see just blue along those cascades all the way through and until we get to Monday. There's a break right there, Monday at 6 a.m. But as you saw in the previous future track, we're not done yet. Here comes our chance for some snow Monday night at 8 o'clock. We get into Tuesday morning. Look at that dark blue that stretches all the way through Deschutes County, East Slopes, higher elevations. And that sticks with us through the morning on Tuesday. Just this weekend alone, we could see up to six inches or more on the Cascades. Here's a look at those temperatures that are going to go along with this. We are in the upper 30s to low 50s, right about where we thought we might be today. You can see a warm night tonight compared to where we should be this time of year. Normally we're looking at those mid upper 20s in Redmond and we're still in the 30s. As we look at our temperatures for tomorrow, another cooler day for us below average. When we take that into our extended forecast, we see a couple of days where we're in those upper 40s to low 50s into the start of next week. Then we level off for a few days and start to get back to average by the time we get to Thursday, Friday.